This is Twit. So, um, Apple a year ago. Yeah, we're changing the changing the course of the stream. Is that why you said? <laughs> oh well, this is the, there's so much that's interesting and awesome to talk about with Apple this week. You're talking agree. about how. You didn't want to talk about politics? I'm excited because we're about to talk about changing chip architecture for an entire yeah, operating that system. that is interesting. So. All right, well, let's start with that one. The Mark Berman <laughs> said that Apple by 2020 will be making its own chips for everything, including its Macintosh mm -hmm. computers, Intel wow. outside. Uh, Intel stock plummeted, even though, funnily enough, there really was no reason because Apple's only about 5% of Intel's business. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but what does it mean if Apple does... Its uh, own chips. How does that change? I guess the what does it mean is what investors were freaking out about because mm -hmm. there is a potential future where it's not just Mac but Windows, which has experimented with ARM based. I have Windows. a Windows on ARM uh, laptop. And it's not and very good, but I have. Potentially a future where <laughs> Intel, which holds what, like 99% of the PC market right now, not including tablets, is like, you know, they. They might lose hold of that, and that's a scary thought. I mean, they've they've gotten basically nowhere in mobile, mm -hmm. uh, so it's they have just servers that, and they have PCs. I think this is Intel's fault because, and I think Apple. One of the things Apple's is saying with this is, you guys haven't innovated in years. They yep. can't make a ten nanometer processor yep. to save their life. Qualcomm's doing it. Samsung's doing it. They really, I mean, yeah, there's a seventh, the eighth, the ninth generation Intel chips, but are there is there's not much difference between them. I think Apple wants to make wants to go more in this direction. I have one of the the That's original a from a few years ago MacBook, which is like super thin and only has one port on he's, it. Which ladies is and gentlemen, he's holding it up with his pinky. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's super light. It's, it's, it is. You just it's extremely it. slow. Yeah. yeah. Because the Intel chip, the, That's the best a core they got in there. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a computing model which is increasingly lightweight and mobile. It's a thin client. Yeah. Do you think of it that way? Yeah. That's that's yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Those are the words I was looking. For. Yeah. Those are the words I was looking for. Well, you, you're still using it, right? Yeah. I mean, you're living yeah. with the slow. But you, yeah. if this you could is... be faster, you'd be happy. Yeah. I mean, I I like the form, but I it's noticeably slow. It's slower than yeah. an iPad. So can I ask? Is that the first generation uh, 12 inch MacBook? Yes. I'm not okay, even so sure I've if they've had updated that. it since uh, then. No, they have. Okay. I have the third generation because I just third. replaced yours. This year with the the modern one, it is much 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 better. It's so good I can use it as my primary machine. So How's the battery life? It, it's it's great. It's fantastic. You know my uh, problem really is the keyboard. It's not yeah. the uh, it's not the battery life. It's the not keyboard those. is yeah. a lot better too. They made it? it so it it gives you. It's not as good as like the old traditional keyboard, but it feels a lot more clicky and gives you more haptic feedback. So. Uh, I would really say give that computer another chance because it is drastically better. Yours has an M3. That's all they offered the first generation. Then they started putting i5s and i7s. They're still low power i5s and i7s, but I think they probably are uh, a lot yeah. faster. 14 nanometer. Yeah. Uh, up to 3.6 gigahertz turbo boost. I don't know if they ever get there because of thermal constraints, but it's there if you if you want it. It'll I run Civilization. I mean, you know, that's pretty good. So. <laughs> <laughs> but will they run crisis? That's the real right. question. Uh, all right. All right. So mm -hmm. Apple, though, I think Apple also, it's not merely that Intel isn't innovating. Mm -hmm. It's that Apple wants to own a, their own future, right? That they, uh, it was Alan Kay who said, if you really care about software, you'll make the hardware. Mm -hmm. They also yeah. want to lessen the load on developers, I think. They've yeah. been aspiring to get to this place where developers can make on essentially one set of tools and not have to code something with the with a Mac architecture in mind and then one with an iOS architecture in mind. And mm -hmm. they want compilers that'll make one app that can kind of live on in all worlds. Marzipan. Yeah, but I'm a developer. I you have may to wonder push why back I just on said that quite a bit. <laughs> I, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, I, and I'm not saying I, one UI, mm -hmm. but they, sure. so this they is want the Apple, language to Apple be Apple has already said, and it, I think we know this, that they want to mm -hmm. make iOS apps run on Mac OS. Oh, it's like the yeah. universal but, Windows platform. It's right. basically the same idea. They This is yeah. Project Marzipan, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, supposedly we're going to start, we'll see it in June at uh, WWDC if they're really serious about this. But I think even more than that, and I think this is why they want to abandon Intel, I think ultimately, and I have another story that will prove my point, Apple is, in fact, moving away from Mac OS. Mm -hmm. That Apple yep. wants your next MacBook to be running iOS. Yeah. Or an operating system that can handle both 
a I don't know. No, no, no. I think so if, if think anything, that, Marzipan Apple, is transitional. Do you think that Apple is basically trying to train people to think of of, of computing as a mobile first fluid experience across like What's a, a phone computer, and a Lisa? Exa that's the yeah, that's where I'm getting at. <laughs> What's is, a computer? Is do you think that they're trying to train their user base to think of computing as as simply the 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 information flow tasks that you do on a phone or a tablet and occasionally on a laptop? I mean, do you think that's where they're going? Well, here's Apple's problem and Brianna, maybe you can address this. Yeah. Uh I think Apple's willing to, and we're going to get to this next story about what they're doing with the Mac Pro, but I think mm -hmm. Apple's willing to seed the professional community. They don't like it because it's really important to them, the, mm -hmm. the, the filmmakers, the music makers. Yeah. But one thing, even if they try to save that or lose that, mm -hmm. they can't lose is developers. They yeah. need developers. And right now, development means Mac OS. Mm -hmm. you, I guess, I mean, Apple doesn't want you writing stuff for iOS and Windows. They got they've got they've got to have mm -hmm. some way to develop for iOS. Right, right now that means Mac OS. But I here's yeah. if I'm Apple, mm -hmm. my number one priority at this point is getting Xcode to run on iOS to create a, a credible developer platform. Absolutely. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe mm -hmm. it looks like a thin client mm -hmm. connected to servers. I, I don't know what that looks like.